My friends, in this video, you are going to see one of the great wonders of Cisco dumb. <laughs> Maybe one of the greatest things ever invented, period. And it's not the show access list command. That's been around for a while. And as you can see, on this particular router, there's nothing to show you because I've done a write erase on this one. We're, we're working from scratch. Because what I want to show you are ACL sequence numbers. And if you haven't written that many ACLs in the field or any yet, you know, hey, no problem with that. Everybody starts somewhere and we all have that first time. But the thing with ACLs, especially in uh, days of yore, is that if you needed to edit it after you wrote it, uh, you were just kind of out of luck because what you had to do was delete it, edit it in Notepad, and then just paste it back. And that doesn't sound like much of a pain, but then you know if you had already had it active, you needed to remove it from the interface before you did any of that. Um, you know, it's just a real mess. Well, the great thing about sequence numbers is that it allows us to edit an active ACL without making it inactive. And by that, I mean taking it off the interface. We don't have to do any of that stuff. It's really great. Now, uh, before we start the lab here, a, qu a quick real world word of warning here. As far as the numbered ACLs go, and that's the one we're going to use here, the ability to edit a numbered ACL with sequence numbers is relatively new. And I say, you know, it's a relative term, of course, no pun intended, uh, as, for, as opposed to named ACLs. Named ACLs we've been able to edit with sequence numbers for a long time. But with numbered ACLs, it's relatively new. And if you're doing it out in the field or in a lab and you can't do what we're about to do, it's probably because your iOS isn't quite recent enough to have that feature where you can edit a numbered ACL with sequence numbers. If you can't, you know, it's, it's no shame in that, of course. And the thing is, the CCNA and CSENT exams are not iOS specific. They're not going to ask you questions about iOS 12.3724 apostrophe 3A. It's not like that. If they ask you a question about numbered ACLs, you know, just answer it. But I want to show you this with numbered ACLs since I know that's what a lot of us end up using. And what we'll do is just go ahead and start that. Drive me my keyboard back. And we'll just create an access list. A couple of lines here. Let's do a 220 there. And you can see we've got something a little unusual here when I ran show access list. Standard IP access list 10, we're seeing exactly what we expect to see. But you see these numbers 10 and 20. Now I'm not going to insult you by asking you to pick up the numeric pattern and guess what the third number might be in that. Uh, but obviously they start at 10 and increment in 10s. But the thing is, we didn't put that in. And those are put in by default and they can be used to allow us to edit an ACL whether we're inserting lines in a particular place or we're removing lines of an ACL. And we're going to do both here. So let's see, let's go ahead and go into access list, back to access list. I'll move that arrow now, it's annoying. And we've got access list 10. And, you know, we've got deny permit remark. And let's just say that after we wrote this two line ACL, it's like, oh, you know what I meant to do? I meant to deny uh, 17111. Well, of course, if we just write that in that line and it gets tacked to the bottom of this ACL, it would never be run, right? Because 17111 would match that first line and it would be permitted. And the deny on line three, uh, or number 30 actually, would, be, would never be run. So I don't see anything here, though, where we can use a sequence number. Let's go back and we've got access list 10, access list here. And these, of course, are all the ranges that we've seen and are used to and everything else. But there's absolutely nothing here about using a sequence number. So let's use, is there a sequence here? You know, this is the kind of thing I would do if I just couldn't find the command all of a sudden. Well, you know, sequence numbers sound like a great idea, but it doesn't look like we can use them. And we can't with the access list command. The reason I want to show you this is that those of us who work with numbered ACLs, and frankly, that's usually what I use, uh, you know, we're so used to just using the access list command that we forget about the IP access list command, especially when it comes to numbered ACLs. And that's what you have to use in order to do this edit. 
So our IP access list, you just keep going, standard, and we're working with 10, and that's it. And now we have dropped into ACL configuration mode. And this is the one we need in order to do the editing. So let's say that we had that line that uh, we want to deny 17111, and we want it to be the first line of this ACL. Now we could number it anything from 1 to 9, but what I like to do is come back, and I always like to use a number in the middle of whatever range is available, because that way if I have to come back again, and put another line in front of this line we're about to insert. If I give this line one, you know, what am I going to do then? Then I got to take the line off and renumber and all that jazz. I don't want to have to do that. So again, if you're sticking a line between zero and 10, go with five. Uh, if you're doing 10 to 20, go with 15. Now that's what I like to do. It just makes things a little easier down the road. So let's see what our choices are. And the very first line, this is what we were looking for, sequence number. That's what we're interested in. We also have a no, negate a command or set its defaults. We're going to come back and revisit that. So let's just go with 5, because it seems kind of odd beginning a line with a number, doesn't it? Beginning a command with a number. I don't even think that we do that anywhere else. So let's see. And deny, exit ACL config mode or permit. So if we're going to do a deny, we do the exact same thing. It's the exact same syntax. We've got any, we've got host. I'm going to go ahead and do host. And we'll do 17111. And we could log if we wanted to, but that's it. Now I could have just run a do there, but um, I will run this instead. Show IP access list. And there's my number. There's my number right there. 5 deny 17111. It's not going to list the wildcard bits when you put host in there. So that's really it as far as inserting a line. You just pick the sequence number you want to use. The, the key really is to remember that you have to do this with IP access list and not you know just the access list command. Because I admit the first time I was working with them, it drove me crazy. It's like, I don't see how you do this. And it's like, oh, IP access list. When you use access list so often, you're just not used to doing IP access list. So, I tell you what, let's go in here and take that line right back out, or say that we wanted to remove line 10. Do you think the numbers will adjust? If I take a line out of the middle, what do you think is going to happen? Again, it's IP access list, standard, 10, and then you just drop into config mode. And the very first thing you want is no, and you can actually do the whole line if you wanted to, but all you gotta do is the sequence number. And in this case, if we're taking out the middle line, literally all you're gonna put here is no 10. And that's it. And that's a really odd looking command. That's the kind of thing that someone who's not really ready for the exam look at that, I'm like no 10, what the heck is that? But you're gonna be ready and you know how to do it. So let's hit that. And it's gone. The numbers do not change. Okay, that one's that line 20 is not going to say, oh, wait a minute, line 10's gone, now I need to become line 10. It's like none of that. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. That's really as simple as it gets. As long as you remember the IP access list command, the rest is very intuitive. But this is a fantastic tool that allows you to insert and delete lines at your will just using those sequence numbers, and you get them exactly where you want them. Again, just a quick reminder, the sequence numbers are there by default. And they start with 10, increment by 10, and now you know how to remove and insert the lines from an ACL. That's it.